Hey, check this out. Here's yet another cool way you can use generative fill in the new Photoshop beta. So I've got the beta loaded up. I've got this photo restoration, which is just, it's in horrible shape, ready to go. And what I would normally have to do is I would have to painstakingly remove each scratch manually. And then when it comes to things like his eye, that's completely obliterated, I, I would have to maybe copy this eye over and do, do all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and use my lasso tool and I'm gonna lasso each scratch. And it might take me, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do all of that in front of you because I've taken the time to do that up front. So I'm just gonna go up to my select menu, load that selection that I made earlier of all the scratches just so I don't have to waste your time doing it manually. But that's all it is, just lassos of each of the scratches. Now, on the very bottom here, I've got generative fill. I'm just gonna click it and hit generative fill and no prompt, just generate. And of course, that will try its best to generate all of the things I selected. Now, I didn't select every single little scratch, everything, little piece of dust, but what it did was pretty freaking amazing. And that's probably the one I would go with. Now, we can take it up a notch. We don't have to live here. Let's go to our crop tool and let's say, well, I don't need the, the Polaroid type edges. I don't need those anyway. If I wanted to put a white border around this, I could. And let's just go with that. So we're just gonna go ahead and crop in. And then we're gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and make a composite layer of this uh, on Mac, Command, Option, Shift, E, PC, Control, Alt, Shift, E. And that makes a new layer that's just the layer of everything. I still have the other layers if I need them. Now we're gonna take that new layer into the filter menu, Neural Filters. And with Neural Filters, we're gonna go to that Photo Restoration Neural Filter to kind of even dress this up a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the scratch reduction, even though it doesn't really need as much now that I got rid of them. And we can go ahead and, and just uh, make the photo enhancement a little bit better. And it's re-rendering that each time. We can even make the face a little bit better. And look at that, look at that before and after. All right, so let's go ahead and click OK on that. Uh, that I'll put that to that layer. I could have set a new layer, which I should have, but this is where we started and this is where we are now. So before, after, just an amazing job in a matter of seconds, and I can still go in and tweak little things that need to be done now using the new remove tool. But as you can see, that just does it such a great job using the new content aware fill, haha, <laughs> joking, generative fill in the new Photoshop beta. Cheers everyone, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.